You're live. Tell us when, Morgan. You're live. We're live? Yep, you're Good live. Evening. Hi, folks. How are you? From, uh, from Greg's... Uh, from my, my <laughs> humble home. Talking my, tackle. My humble log cabin here. CJ Adams. Captain Greg DeBrule. Uh, Tonight we, uh, you know, we picked up a couple of topics. One of the guys that mentioned, good customer, Steve, he, uh... Want to go over some real maintenance, okay? What's that mean? We've had a lot of calls on. We've uh, had, we've had, I don't know, probably 15, 18, you know. Okay, so. Real maintenance. R-E-E-L, not R-E-A-L. <laughs> R-E-E-L, yes. That was, that was clever. Just a <laughs> clever freaking guy. Uh, right? yeah. what, what, what we want to talk about, what we mean by real maintenance is, uh, for one, fresh water. You know, we take very good care of all of our own tackle as well as the boat stuff. After every trip, you spray it down with a little fresh water, okay? Get the salt off. That's where it all begins. And then you get into the graduation stage from there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I back up? Don't forget the Saltex. Saltex. Well, I was going to mention it as we mixed that. But. Saltex, for, for those of you who don't know, Saltex is a, uh, <clears throat> well, what is Saltex? <laughs> well, it breaks it's down a, the salt it pretty break, much. It does break down the salt. We use it on the boat quite a bit. In fact, we... When we wash the boat down, it'll be an, an aluminum boat, we use a lot of Saltex in the fresh water. But we also use it occasionally, we don't use it all the time, on the reels. Okay, but it's like CJ said, fresh water is the name, the name of the game. To, to keep that salt off, to keep that corrosion off. Okay, and uh, you want to start off with a new reel or you want to go... I'm just going to show you an example of uh, some stuff. Or you come on up here, you see all this corrosion, so to say, around... See that? Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. That's uh, that's lack of maintenance. Okay, that's that's wear and tear. Now, when you you don't have to grease your reel every single week. You know this stuff it holds up, but if you don't do it over the course of a season, that's what you end up with when it we, sits like that. We see some, <laughs> we see some rugged. Take a look at this really rugged quick. stuff. So that's that's old grease. That grease was this color. See how it's now dark, nasty. That stuff hasn't been touched in a long, long time. This reel hasn't been greased. This is what happens, and when you stop doing that, you don't, and it gets nasty and old, then things start to break, okay? Especially, especially the screws. Now, I know they're small, but these screws hold your side plate in, into the reel, okay? Both ends, both, both ends. Ideally, what you want to do after the course of end of the season or middle of the season, you take that screw, you got your pen reel grease, you dip it in, you get a little bit on there, and you thread it back in. That will eliminate the corrosion, and these screws will come out freely on not only this reel, but your own reels as well. Now, I don't recommend going home, and if you've never done this before, ripping apart your whole reel and grease and everything, because you're not going to get them back together, unless you do your homework. If, you, if you've never taken them apart... Do your homework first, is what we're saying. It's not, it's not rocket science, but if you've, never, if you've never taken this part of the reel apart... And you do it for the first time. You have a mess. Yeah, you're gonna have a mess. Then you're gonna be in a Ziploc bag, dri driving it to uh, JMB Tackle. JMB Tackle, having them <laughs> put their put your reel back together. It's yeah. it's pretty simple inside, but you you have to have a little bit of experience taking them apart. Yeah. And and some of the other reels are even more complex. They are. They you are. know. So uh, I know a lot of you guys, a lot of customers that may be watching right now, or new customers, or customers that may be tuning in. You guys have some of you guys have some real high maintenance stuff and. Yeah, once you get the hang of it and open it up a couple times, you, you get the idea of how it goes back together. But uh, for some of you that might not, don't go opening them up right away. Do a little homework, so to say, before you start doing that stuff. Some of these, some of these aren't our reels. No. Did we get these off of another party boat? I don't. I don't, won't say I don't want to say. Look at look at look at the corrosion on this. This is the spool. This is from the salt. This is from the salt. See it all? See all that? That's all, all corrosion. Right. You know. Now the the worst part is in the high-end reels like the internationals and stuff you got different metals in there and you and you do get a lot more corrosion electrolysis and everything else so you, you really got to take care of them i mean like i said we see some people that take care of them and boy we see some reels that are just unbelievable yeah. this is a this is a brand new reel okay brand new this is, this is important what he's about to tell you brand new uh three of okay this is what we use bottom fishing uh, four to one ratio fast the, the first thing the first thing we do with these reels or they do not me is You take off that end bearing see the end bearing take that end bearing off Look at it. See if there's grease now. This came right from the factory sometimes Sometimes there's a lot of grease sometimes there's yeah. very little 
but you can put a little grease in there. We check every single one where we get them. You, you take some grease and force it in that bearing. Then, with the bearing loose, and this is important, because you don't want to do it with the bearing tight, you want to take a screwdriver and tighten up all the bolts. You not can, just this reel, but any, any brand new reel. Any brand new reel. Any br they're not coming that. They're not coming tight. Believe me. You, if you want to, you can take them off, put a little grease in them, put them back. But tighten every one of the screws, but make sure the end bearing is is loose because if the end bearing is tight, and you tighten up these, you could split the case here. Okay, you're putting so much pressure on it. You know. I don't know about you, but I, well, probably not you so much, but like Morgan or us. Dave, Randy, all of us guys, Glenn, we see uh, a lot of customers from time to time again, they, they start to lose pieces off the reels. You know, while you're fishing and they're looking around, hey, can you fix this? Can you fix this? Well, the piece is already gone because you didn't, probably didn't tighten stuff up or check stuff when you first got the reel brand new. And it's a common occurrence. We see it quite a bit. The, the, problem, the problem with corrosion, as most of you know, you, you, have, you, you have a lot of dissimilar metals here. This is all brass, okay? The reel seat is stainless. You get a lot of corrosion up here on the real seat, the real seat, because of the dissimilar metals. So that's where the Saltex and 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 when you go to spray these with salt water, I mean with uh, fresh water, you don't you don't put a lot of pressure in there. Okay, ideally you want to get a little soft, a, a rag or a, brush, or a something. soft brush, a real soft brush, and just go over it with some of it with some water and some of that Saltex. Okay, and then lightly spray it. You don't want to. If you use a lot of pressure, all you're doing is forcing the salt into those cracks and crevices. So you, you don't really want to do that either. You know, we uh, we see it all the time, uh, every single day almost. Um, we got saltwater hoses on the boat. Everybody seems to think that they're freshwater. Well, we're pumping saltwater. We've through had the boat. we've had people ask us. They say, Jesus, how many uh, how many gallons of fresh water that they And we joke at them sometimes. You know, say yeah, well yeah, they, they think that twenty thousand. I think the thing's uh, fresh water. I mean, not to mention, I've seen people drink it. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't see much, but, uh, well, what I'm Wait, getting what at. What does that mean? Oh, they turn the thing out and take a little swig. Oh, no, I don't see much. No, you don't see the boy goes, like, you're worried about upstairs. Oh, well, we're down because of the readers. And, well, I was going to ask, but I didn't want to get into that. I didn't know, you know. Your day will come. I, they're already here. <laughs> you, you only think they're here. Any, anyways. Back to the saltwater washdowns. Time and time again, we see the customers at the end of the trip hosing that their rods and reels down with the saltwater. And we tell them, guys, it's saltwater. I mean, you just fished all day. Now you're hosing your reels down with the saltwater. You don't have to do that. There's a reason why us in particular have fresh water at the dock. We hose them down. Don't use the saltwater washdowns. We, we, really, we really take care of them. I mean, these things are expensive, 100 bucks a whack. And we got 125, 150 of them. Of, of the small ones, not counting the big ones yeah. from, for bass and blue fishing, you know. Uh, one of the other things, and we see this all the time, this, this bearing is very critical. When you're tightening up that bearing, you want to have a little slop. Bring it over closer so they can hear it. You hear the slop, and we'll be quiet. That's, that's a little bit too much. Now, if you tighten that bearing up all the way... You don't get any slop at all. That's too. That's too tight. You want a little bit, right? You want a little bit of slop in there, just, just, just minutely. When, when these guys like CJ and, and Morgan, when they're passing out the rental rods, when they pass them out to you as the customer, they always check that spool to make sure it's not too loose, not too tight. Okay. Um, and we always check to make sure they have screws in them too. If you're missing a well, screw. Well, that's right. You make sure you, you have them all in there. When you, get, when you get done at the end of the day, and I know a lot of people don't do this, and some people, I don't know how you feel about it, I always back off on the drag. Okay. I, I good, always. It's a good thing to get into uh, if you don't do it already. Uh, it just keeps everything clean. It doesn't keep that salt locked in. Yep. Um, now, some of the, uh, some of the things, and, and I think this is, this is a really good tool right here, and we go through... Well, we got a case of it downstairs. <laughs> that was my fault. This is, uh, this is 90 weight gear oil. Okay, on a uh, on a gun here, and boy, this is a real easy way. Hopefully, this is going to squirt. You know, turn upside down. You know, but uh, yeah, there's not much in that. One. I tried it. You know, is it squirting? Yeah, let her go. There, there you goes. go. There you go. Okay, so that's that's 90 weight uh, gear lube, and that is really really good stuff to hit the handles. You notice if you can see it. I'm not sure if they can. 
but there's a little hole right there and almost every single reel i think has that little hole yeah maybe not all and that maybe not every single one not the high-end stuff but most of them do and if you want to just take that little tip there give it a shot and shoot it in there and you know you'll see most of the time if you haven't you'll, done it from the salt you'll see it first you'll see it come you'll see it degrees. come down there not every reel has that the, the high-end maintenance stuff or the high-end stuff i don't know if it does or not but uh, uh we but also see a lot of spinning rods but the same concept with that stuff spinning reels take a little grease whatever it is uh this is for bearings this stuff right here a little can, bit you can over grease it yeah. that's not good drop either. it down the shaft there the shank and just wind it in and that will get all of your stuff down here and uh just just take care of your stuff that's that's what we're trying to get across fresh water goes a long ways grease will go even longer Saltex. Saltex. Uh, Mix that up with the solution. You got to read the bottle of the Saltex. You can use too much, uh, so you make sure you read the directions on that. But it's really nice stuff. One one last thing before we get out of here, and I know there's uh, there's probably people that that, that go trolling wireline right. wireline trolling, and uh, you know when you put the wire on the reel. Now this is one of my, my older reels. This thing hasn't been used in that's one of the good ones. Though. 25 years. Yeah, it's an old oldie but a goodie. But uh, you you've got to take care of this because that's that wire stainless, and there's so much brass and everything else on there, and you'll really get corrosion on these. So we, we 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 really take care of it. I mean, we wash it out. I mean, this thing hasn't been used in a long time, but it's still in great shape. I mean, yeah, and again, the the drag is backed off on it. It's it's loose. I mean, this thing's this thing's ready to go into action tonight if we had to. You know as well yeah. as I do, you change the wire every year because of that corrosion. So yep. yep. Pull it all off. You see the corrosion. Now, before we go, I'll we'll say we'll show you guys one thing. If you just said, uh, nah, I'm not going to grease my stuff, and I don't really And care. we see it. <laughs> my God, we see it. And Holy God. If you just it. said, ah, that's too much, I don't want to deal with that, we're going to show you what it looks like. If you if don't you take know. care of it. There you have it. <laughs> there it is, okay? So so uh, don't let it end up like this. Although we have some customers that, you know, they'll probably want this. <laughs> You know? They absolutely will. But uh, do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. Clean Take care of your tackle, okay? <laughs> and you know what? If you get on party boats and their wheel, the reels are squeaking, <laughs> and the line is chalky, you're just on the wrong boat, buddy. I'll tell you right now, okay? <laughs> but uh, that's it, okay? C.J. Adams, Captain Greg DeBruyne. We'll see you, folks. Have a great day, yeah, okay? Yeah, give us Thank a few you. Topics for next week. Yeah, give us tackle. some topics, okay?